What's up guys? Welcome to this week's cash envelope stuffing video. My name is Brianna and I do these videos every Thursday. So if you are new here, welcome. I'm happy you decided to watch. I hope you enjoy the video. And if you're not new, welcome back. Let's go ahead and jump into it, starting off with car, which is going to be getting $15 this week. Guess who got a flat tower today, speaking of car? Me. Um, it was able to get fixed though for 15 bucks, so that's good. And my dad actually paid for it because I was at work, and so he took my car to get the tire fix, and he just paid for it for me. Um, it was only $15 either way, but I was really happy about that. And I was glad that I didn't have to get a new tire. They were able to patch it. I ended up having like a huge nail in my tire. I hate when that happens, but it does happen. So don't forget to have a car fund if you don't already. So we are at 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 210, 220, and 225 in car. Your car will give you trouble when you least expect it, which it's not my car's fault that I had a, tire, a nail in the tire, but still, it counts. Food is getting 30. I'm gonna take these dollars out and put it down here at the bottom. I don't even think you can see that. Let me scoop these up. Can you see those ones at the bottom, kind of? Can you see those ones down there? Maybe a little bit. That's okay. So food's getting 30 and it's completely empty. So we are starting over on that. Fun is gonna be getting $40. So we're gonna do a 20, a 30, and two fives. I spent all of my fun money on food last weekend. Someone actually asked me in my comment section a, a week or two ago, what's the difference between spending money and fun money? So spending money to me is just like daily spending. I almost always spend all of my spending money on drinks at the gas station, like energy drinks, coffee, things like that. And then fun money, I reserve mostly for like weekends, like going out and doing something like going to eat, going to the movies, things like that. So it might not make sense to you for it to be separated, but it makes sense to me. Like spending is just for everyday spending and then fun is for like actual things that I choose to do for fun. If that makes any sense at all, it makes sense in my head and that's all that matters. <laughs> as long as your budget makes sense to you, you're doing good. Gift is getting 10. I got both my parents their birthday presents. So we are good on gifts for a while. I feel like I can't think of any gifts that I need to be buying anytime soon. Like I don't have any birthdays coming up or anything. I do like to give people gifts on a whim just to be nice. Like my friend just bought a house. She's moving, unfortunately, but she did just buy a house. So like I would get her a housewarming gift, you know, so it doesn't have to be like just a birthday or just a holiday, but I do love giving surprises to people. So I'm going to keep stuffing gifts, even though no birthdays are coming up. So we are at 30 for gifts. Spending is going to be getting 20. Basically, my spending money goes to the gas station every week because I stop at the gas station every day to get drinks. So that is where that goes most of the time. Let's do the coin jar. I have a little handful here. A few coins. There we go. And then moving over to sinking funds, starting off with beauty, as always, it's going to be getting $20 this week. Those are, they're sticking together. There we go. So we are now at 20, 40, 60, 70, and 75 in beauty. I need like 120 by the 15th. Wait, is it the 15th? No, the 25th. I knew there was a five in there. <laughs> so it's the 25th. I need $120 by the 25th. So I think we're on the right track. Candy is getting $20. G 
she needs to go to the vet like ASAP because she needs to get her her new rabies and all the whatever vaccines she gets um, and we I don't know how much that's gonna be but if she doesn't have enough in her envelope I'll just take it out of my medical envelope because she's my child so you know it's fair game I feel like <laughs> to pay for her vet visit with my medical money but I don't know maybe that's cheating so she's at 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220, and 240. The reason her vet visits are expensive is because I like to get her, I, I can't remember if it's flea and tick or heartworm or whatever it is, but it's a one-time vaccine so you don't have to give her the little, little pills or whatever those are called every month. It's just one vaccine for the whole year. So it's a little bit more expensive, but I feel like it pays off because I don't like to remember to do things on a monthly basis. Christmas is getting 20. And it is now at 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 520, 540, and 560. We're almost to 600. If I hadn't have skipped those couple of weeks, we would already be at 600, but that's okay. Clothing is getting 10 because I will be wanting to buy something eventually, so I better start saving now. Home is getting 100 because if you don't know, I am moving into an apartment in, what is it, two weeks now? Oh my gosh, less than two weeks. So. I am so excited. So I'm saving up to buy things for my apartment and that's why home is getting so much right now. And it is at 100, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 300. And that money is going to go fast because everything is expensive. Land is getting 20. The next payment is due on August 16th. And the minimum is 223, so we are good to go because we are at 100, 200, 300, 320, 340, 360, 380, 400, 420, and 440 in land. So we are doing good there. Oh, and a land update, not my land because there's not going to be any updates on that for a while, let's be honest. But something happened last week to where um, a nearby town, there was this house for sale for a while and nobody was buying it. Beautiful house, but it's kind of like right smack dab in the middle of town. So, I don't know. I don't know why people weren't buying it. Maybe it was too expensive. I'm not sure. But they ended up taking the entire house, picking it up, putting it on a trailer, and driving it all the way down the road, down the highway. And guess where it landed? two lots down from where mine is. So that house is now gonna be like a few backyards away from where mine is. I'll put a video of what it looks like. It's crazy that they moved that whole house on a trailer to the land. And I'm like, of all the places in this whole state where it could end up, it ended up being my neighbor basically, which is just crazy to me. But there's a little land update. I don't I don't have any updates on my particular piece of land just because it's just sitting there being grass. But I thought that was pretty cool. Medical is getting skipped. It's like got uh, what did we say? 660 maybe? I think that's what it was last week. Savings is getting 20. And I did condense this down a little bit. This is prop money obviously but to make it easier on myself, I condensed it down. So we are now at 1,000, 2,000, 2,100, 200, and 220. So 2,220 in savings. Travel is getting 15. As you know, I wanna go to Arkansas for my birthday. And we are now at 100, 200, 220, 240, 260, 270, 280, 290, 295, and 300. I did not plan for that, but that is so satisfying. Can I count that again? 100, 200, 220, 240, 260, 270, 280, 290, 295, and 300. 
I did not expect that. I didn't expect to hit the 300 mark, but that is awesome. And then 52 week is getting 22. I think I have three ones right here. Yeah, I do. So I'll just put them all in here just for fun. So we are now at 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. 520, 540, 560, 580, 600, 620, 630, 635, 640, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, and 49. So 649, I believe, in 52 week. There's a lot of ones in there. What if I took the ones out and put it in there? Do you think I should do that? I think I should. I'm going to do it anyway. Because they're both challenges and technically this is the dollar challenge so let's take the ones out and just put them in here i don't know if i should do that or not but i'm going to <laughs> so how many was that one two three four five twenty forty fifty <laughs> sixty eighty six twenty thirty thirty five and forty so six forty in the 52 week and that just added however much that was into the dollar jar because I don't have any other dollars to put in there this week. Poor dollar jar. Maybe I shouldn't have decided to do a dollar challenge, but it sounded good at the time, but I don't really add much to it. But I mean, she's pretty full, honestly. Sorry, girl. We are not trying to ignore you. We just don't have a lot of dollars. All right, that is a wrap on this week's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. We are coming up on 6,000 subscribers. You guys, 6,000, are you kidding me? So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do so if you'd like. And I will see you guys in another cash envelope stuffing video next Thursday. Bye.